We have the privilege to visit today on the summit with the new head softball coach at Arkansas Tech, Coach Jordan Jones. Coach, you are coming into a fantastic program, a historic program, and we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, really some of the, the great things that softball has done at Arkansas Tech in Russellville. But right now, I just want to say congratulations, uh, an, a new job, and it's a great job. Yes, thank you. I am so excited to get down there. Um, I cannot wait. I know um, obviously the pressure is is high, but the amount of talent that's still on the team and being able to take the foundation that they've built already and move forward with that and just keep hammering that. Um, you know, the goal doesn't change. I'm closer to home. Um, it's somewhere I think, you know, I really could – um, be for a really, really long time. So I'm really excited about it. Well, we the last time we had a chance to visit in, in this particular setting, you had just won your 100th game as the coach at Central Baptist and I believe had done so uh, more quickly than any other coach in program history. And so we had a chance to visit with that. You were at Central Baptist and then most recently you spent a year at Mid-American Nazarene before making this trip to Russellville. Talk about your journey to get here. Yeah, it's been um, it's been a crazy one. I I just kind of look at, at where I came from and how I've come through. And I think, you know, um, it's definitely a blessing. I think that I just I try to treat people well. And I love softball. I absolutely love it. To me, softball is so much more than the game itself. And so I've always tried to um, just coach and, and use that and try to transfer that to my athletes and transfer belief into my athletes and empower them. Um, so it's been a crazy journey. Um, you know, obviously central central Baptist is um, will always have a special place in my heart because it was the first, you know, it was the first one. Um, and then I got the chance to come up to MNU um, and here in Olathe, Kansas. And it's been awesome. These people, I literally cannot talk enough about the people up here, about our, you know, AD coach, um, uh, Todd Garrett, he, he pours his heart and soul into athletics at mid America. And it's really awesome to see that. Um, I will always consider him a great mentor. Um, my girls up here, you know, it's funny cause it's not the plan to go somewhere and leave in a year. It's, yeah. it truly is not, it's never the plan. The plan was to get up here and stay at least four and, um, and build it. And, um, I think, you know, it was, we were getting the culture change. We were, the tide was turning. Um, but when an opportunity like this comes up where for me, it, it truly can be an end goal for me. I've never wanted, like, my goal isn't to go coach D one at, you know, at the highest level, it's just to be able to do what I love, um, and do it, um, you know, somewhere where I can support myself and, um, truly make a full career out of it. So it's about the people and it's, it's not about the division for me at all. Um, so yeah, um, uh, MNU was amazing to me. I, you know, it was, it was a, an emotional couple of weeks, you know, I definitely have an inner turmoil about leaving these girls after one year. I, I do hate that situation that I put them in. Um, but with that being said, you know, this is, like I say, this is the, this is the place for me. Um, and there's no doubt about that. So I'm so excited. It's been a um, crazy and not expected journey to get here. Um, but I'm excited to, to put put roots down, get my feet um, on the ground and get to work in Russellville. So we're here on the summit today with Coach Jordan Jones, new coach of Golden Suns softball at Arkansas Tech. And I encourage you, please like this video, take the time to subscribe to the channel. Those things really do help a lot. Coach, you, I, I have to go ahead and start then. You talk about it being a, a great place and, and quality of softball. Let's just go ahead and, and get this out there. No pressure because you're, you're coming into a program that makes repeated trips to the NCAA Division II playoffs and, and the four-time defending champs going in for the Great American Conference Softball Tournament. So uh, you're, you're definitely going into a program that, that's already going strong. Definitely. Um, and, you know, the good thing is the foundation's already been built. Like the expectation to win is already there. Um, you know, I've taken over programs that have been kind of beaten down a little bit. The expectation to win's a little bit, you know, lowered um, and having to empower those, you know, those girls and, and build those programs. Um, so it's a, it's a different situation I'm coming into. Um, 
but I have spoken with each of the um, girls on the team individually. And I think, I think this could be a good perfect storm kind of a year. Um, you know, if I focus a lot on the pressure and the um, what they've done in the past, then it could really, I think, affect the way that I coach, but I'm going to stick to what, what I truly believe. And we're going to build the culture up. We're going to build a selfless culture um, where they're playing for each other and not against each other. Um, we're going to run through walls. I mean, you're going to see some grit um, and you're going to see a love for the game. Um, and at every, you know, at, at Central Baptist and MNU, the goal was to compete at a national level and nothing less. Um, so that goal is the same. It's that part's not new. Um, the division's new. And um, I know, you know, everything ups um, a little bit here, but I'm excited to get after it. I'm not, I'm not stressing out too much about it because I try not to focus on it too much. I try to just remember where my feet fall, remember what, um, what I believe is important. Um, and we're going to stick to that and hopefully go get out of a regional. Well, well, no doubt that, that you're ready for the challenge and, and, uh, and I believe you'll do a good job. I want to ask really quickly then just now coming in, it's August and, uh, most of the recruiting time has, has already gone past, but I'm sure some recruits have already been in place there and, and the cupboard's not bare by any stretch there. Uh, talk a little bit about what you know of your roster. Yeah. So, um, we've got six, um, seniors coming back this year. Um, I believe five of them have been there all, you know, the last four years, three to four years. Uh, we've got quite a few fifth year seniors, so they must love what they're doing and believe in what they're doing. So that's exciting. Um, you know, they're going to help lead the pack and, um, lead that culture. And I've already spoken to them, you know, each as well, and they're excited to get rolling and I'm excited to get to work with them. So, um, we've got, you know, Cartwright coming back, Bailey Buffington, Maddie Pro, um, you know, all of them back. Um, so there's still so, so many pieces to the puzzle that, that we get to work with year one. Um, then we've got um, some transfers coming in, a couple freshmen that, that we're excited to have on board. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's a good, it's a really good group. There's still so much, so, like I say, so many pieces to the puzzle. Um, and just after talking to them, you know, each individually, it's just, it's a really good hearted group of girls. So, well, coach, one of the things that, uh, and, and I read with the release that, that was uh, presented, uh, hailing your arrival at Arkansas Tech, Coach Davis, who is the athletic director there, uh, talked about uh, your passion and your, your energy, and that those are things that you bring to the table, which I have to say, having watched Arkansas Tech softball in recent years, uh, that's going to fit right in really, really well. Uh, being passionate about the game and being energetic. So uh, just to, as as uh, we close out our time, I think I think you've answered this a little bit already, but you know what what will we see out there? What, what kind of softball team will we see? I think you've answered it though. Yeah, yeah, like I say, I'm hoping that you see a team that's different. Um, I think softball these days it, it just gets so monotonous and and everything starts so early and I won't get started on all that, but um, <laughs> You know, it's, it's just, not it's starting hard. just yet. We still have a little football and volleyball first, but <laughs> yeah, it, it's just, it's hard to keep, um, I mean, get started early as an ages. Like it's just oh hard to God, keep yeah. the love for the game. I think sometimes in the forefront and keep your perspective uh, up. And so I'm hoping that you see a team that when you come out and watch um, is going to keep putting on a show for you guys. I know they've been, you know, doing it for many years, but um you know, but hopefully you're going to see a team where the dugout is as connected with the people on the field as the people on the field are with the dugout. Um, a disciplined team, um, you know, and a selfless team and a very gritty, gritty, tough team. Um, so I'm excited about it. I cannot wait. Like I say, I can't wait to get um, to work. I've been, of course, waking up before my alarm every day, just ready to knock things out and, and get rolling. And I'm ready to get in Russellville. All right. Well, what you just described sounds like business as usual there. So it sounds like it should be good. Be good. Coach Jordan Jones, the new head softball coach at Arkansas Tech. Thank you so much for taking time with us today on the summit. Obviously, we will be following you all this year and success to you and to the Golden Suns. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.